Hi guys, welcome to my frequently asked questions video. Sorry I've been so late. Uh, welcome back to my channel. So I've been so late with uh, this video. I just got ill and then I got herpes and then I was welding and I got sunburned and my face was peeling off. But yeah, anyway, here it is. Um, so pronunciation of my name, Gleb, 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 or Gleb, Gleb, Gleb. Uh, age, so I'm 20 years old, and my birthday is on the 12th of February, so I'll be 21 in a few months. Zodiac, um, Zodiac and Horoscope. I'm assuming they're both the same. I, I don't know what a horoscope is, but I know that Zodiac, I'm Aquarius. So yeah, I don't believe in that sort of stuff, so like Aquarius, I tell people I'm Aquarius, and they're like, oh my god, I would have thought you were a Leo or something. I don't know, so I don't believe in it. Apple or Android, um, so both, I have both phones, I have a, what kind of phone do I have? I have an iPhone 11 Pro and I have a Huawei Mate 20 Lite, so yeah, both. Uh, where am I from? So I'm from Russia, originally, so I'm Russian, but I moved to Serbia from London because I happen to be living in London. Um, uh, where am I, when am I coming to Moscow? So I hope to come to Moscow for Christmas now, for a week, if if I can, because of COVID. When am I coming to the UK? So I hope to come for Easter, but again, I don't know if I'll be able to. Uh, have I been to uni? No. So I haven't been to uni, but I plan on going to uni in Belgrade next year, so I have to urgently decide what I'm going to study. So far I've got digital design on the list, that's my latest interest, so probably that, but I need to find a university ASAP and start studying for a test to get in to study that. So if you know any universities in Belgrade which have English courses and English courses, which have courses in English and digital design, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, how many languages do I speak? I speak English, Russian and Greek, and now I'm also learning Serbian, so four. Um, learning language advice. So I'd say learn the nouns. The nouns are the most important because even if you don't, if you just know the nouns and you hear someone talk, you can probably guess what they're saying. So I'd start with, I used to just write down loads of nouns when I was learning Greek on a sheet of paper and just go over them every single day. But then also I learned Greek by just watching Greek series. That it's just so good. Like I would watch episode after episode after episode and that's how I learn all like Greek interesting sayings that everyone knows and yeah, that's how I became fluent. Um, how many instruments do I play? So I play the piano, just the piano. Any hidden talents? So if you haven't been following me on Instagram for a while, then my hidden talent is painting. This is actually one of my paintings. Not the most interesting one, but yeah. If you do know about me painting, then I probably don't have any hidden talents. Sorry. Um, three things, the three things I most like in a person. So, and what's my ideal partner? So I guess that's the same. So three things I like in a person is if they're positive. So that's a very important thing. Like I don't like people who complain about the weather and stuff. So just a positive person. Second thing is they have to be interested in learning new things. So like in personal development and all that. And Third thing is basic manners, you know, like not spitting in the streets, not being rude to waiters, stuff like that. Um, have I ever been drunk? So yes, I have. There's this one time when I was drunk in Greece. I got drunk at a friend's house and I was trying tequila for the first time and I blacked out after that five or seven, I can't remember. Shot, not shots, they're like proper glasses, like, you know, big glasses. 
and my friends had to call the ambulance and I got taken rushed to hospital and I had to have a tube go down and I think pull out all the alcohol because I could have died it was really funny because I, 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 I was like unconscious and like my friends were trying to get into my phone to ring my parents to come pick me up and I couldn't give them the password to my phone because I was so no, out of it but it would work out really well because my parents for that weekend had gone away for the weekend which was so good because I would have been in so much trouble and yeah my scissors were at home so it was fine um, do Russians have Slavas? So no, they don't. If you don't know what a Slava is in Serbia, every family has a Slava, which is one day of the year, a day of a saint, which they celebrate. Every family has a patron saint, and they celebrate on that saint's day. So Russians don't have that. Russians do celebrate namesakes though, which English people don't. But Serbs also do. Um, have I been to Sweden or Croatia? Nope. Uh, apart from the languages I know, whichever ones do I like the sound of? So I like French, Italian, and Spanish. Probably French most of all. Uh, I've tried learning it on Duolingo a few times, but I don't know it. Um, would I like to jump out of a plane? Nope. Nope. I, I might. But I wouldn't want to. Um, uh, would I have come to Serbia if it wasn't for the pandemic? That's a really good question. I'm not sure, but I think probably not. I think I wouldn't have. Um, my favourite Serbian beer. So I'm not too good at things like that. I don't really taste a big difference. But I'll say Zajacavsko just because I know a lot of people who like Zajacavsko. So much be honest, they're the best. What's one thing I like and dislike? What's one thing I like and dislike about the UK, Russia, Greece and Serbia? So, in Russia, I like, in Russia, I like architecture and St. Petersburg and Moscow. That's one thing I like. One thing I dislike about Russia is, um, it's a bit gloomy, like, people are, like, not nearly as friendly as they are in Eastern Europe, like Greece and Serbia. So uh, people are a bit, yeah. Um, one thing I like about the UK is, I like the countryside in the UK and London, but yeah. One thing I dislike about the UK is the tube, the tube in London, very packed. Um, one thing I like about Greece is, the people and one thing I dislike about Greece is in the summer it gets a bit too hot um, in Serbia one thing I like about Serbia is again the people and in one thing I dislike is um, Serbia. Um, I guess one thing I like about one thing I dislike about Serbia or Serbs is that sometimes they're very they're too laid back and like you try and get them to do something they say they'll do it and they won't do it because they'll just like you know but I think it's the same in Greece like laid back 
which is a nice thing, but then if you wanted to do something, they might not do it. I don't know, I can't think of anything else to think about bad about Saturday, sorry. Um, do I believe in love at first sight? No. Um, favorite Serbian singer? I don't have any favorite Serbian singers. I don't know any favorite Serbian singer, uh, singers in Serbia. I know a few songs like I also know Oi Kosovo, Kosovo. Yeah, I don't know any Serbian singers. Um, tongue twister in Russian. Uh, Karlu Klaru Kral Karali Klaru Karlu Krala Klarniet. Best country I've lived in so far is Greece, just because it's so nice there. And I went to school there and I went to high school there, so I had a really good time. Have I been to Bosnia? Yes, I've been to Bosnia many times. Favorite film? I don't have a favorite film. I like a lot of films. When I was younger, it was Narnia. You know, Narnia, the, the three films of Narnia, like those are my favorite films. Favorite book? Um, so the best book I've read so far has been Rich Dad, Poor Dad. That's the best book I've read so far, but currently a book I'm reading, which I love, is Think and Grow Rich. Um, favorite food? Oh, it's Italian food. And then in Serbia, I love plasma and milk, and I love I love I love chapati, and I love gyros, which is Greek or Turkish. Don't come at me. Um, where I learned to play the piano, so I learned to play the piano in Russia, and then I was learning it in England, and then I was learning it in Greece, and I'm not learning it anymore, but. I can play it. I can't, I'm not like really good. I haven't like finished piano or anything, but I can play a few songs. Drag the halls and we... Um, have I been to Novi Sad? No. Hope to go there soon though, it looks really good. Am I gonna do a morning routine video? Yes, most likely very soon. My dream job, so my dream job would be to be able to travel the world and earn money. So like work from my laptop, work from anywhere in the world and be able to make money. Um, what do I do for a living? Um, so I'm a translator. So I translate from Russian to English, English to Russian, Russian to Greek, Greek to English, and English to Greek and Greek to English. Um, do I use CAT or ALAT for my translations? No, I don't know what those are. I've never heard of those. I just use Google Translate and Microsoft Translate. Do I like Serbia more than Greece? Um, currently, I like Gr Greece is my favorite country, but I've just moved to Serbia, so Serbia might become my favorite country. Um, when do I plan on leaving Serbia? So, not for at least five years, probably, because I want to study here. Maybe 10 years I'll be here, I don't know. Um, which country would have the best time in, it's Greece. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know I haven't answered all the questions yet, but I'll be answering them in videos to come. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. And yeah, see you in my next video. Bye guys.